in my previous video, I explained that I'd lost my mid-twenties due to the pandemic, and as usual, God forbid anyone share an experience online that's different to your own, people got mad. I was 24 when I moved to New Zealand, and tomorrow I turn 28. When I moved here, I was very aware that the wages were much lower than in Australia and that the living costs were a lot higher than in Australia, which is why I was never supposed to be here for longer than six months. This was the original plan, and then once I'd done that, I was going to be returning to Australia, getting a full-time job and saving and building towards my future within the next couple of years. Thanks to the pandemic, absolutely none of that happened. And when I made the decision to stay in New Zealand and wait for this to blow over, never in my wildest dreams did I think that it would take over three years. During this time, we have tried to travel as much as New Zealand as possible while working full-time jobs. But the harsh reality is, when you're working a job in New Zealand that's paying you 30 to 40% less than the same job would pay you in Australia, and the living costs in New Zealand are through the roof, it's not impossible, but it is a lot harder and it takes you a fair bit longer to reach certain goals. My partner and I also have the added side quest that we both have female reproductive systems, which means starting a family one day will not be a simple, short or cheap process. And it's something that we'll have to start planning emotionally, physically and financially about 12 to 24 months in advance. Plus there's actually a biological time limit on that one. Moving back to Australia is an investment in our future because it's the only viable way that we can afford to achieve our goals at the quality that we would like on the timeline that we have, which is now a lot shorter thanks to the pandemic. 